Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the Nashville studios today, and I've got something to talk about. And it revolves around the Glock 43X, which is the hottest gun gone here uh, for Glock in uh, 2022, 2023, because of the slim line and uh, the fact that it's such a concealable gun, you almost forget you have it on. Uh, 10 round capacity, of course, all that good stuff, but uh, it shoots like a Glock, it feels like a Glock, it shoots soft for such a small gun. That's really important. But talking about carry, concealed carry, a lot of people you know, are looking for options to conceal. And of course, you know, we have a $35 holster that's a nice little package for this. Uh, I wear it a lot uh, because it allows you to just drop the gun, boom. And when you wanna take the gun off, Boom, and that's a $35 holster. We sell a ton of these, and you know it's a, it's a nice holster. I mean, I've worn this one for a couple of years. It looks the same, it, it, it acts the same as the day I wore it, okay, as the day I, I started wearing it. Um, gun comes out easy, a little bit of retention, all that good stuff, but a lot of people just don't like Kydex. I mean, they hate Kydex <laughs> to the point of like, oh, I don't want a Kydex holster, I want a leather holster. So, of course, we have a leather option, and it's made by Galco, and my friends at Galco, and I, we kind of worked on this one together. This is a Royal Guard holster. We sell these, and uh, it's a great holster as well. Lots of retention. Um, the nice thing I like about this, the one is horse hide on the outside. It's very important uh, because a horse hide is stronger or denser than cowhide and so this holster this horse hide holster will last you really for a lifetime uh, the nice thing is that these uh these straps are snaps and so you don't have to take your belt on and off every time you put the gun holster on you still have to kind of weave it through which is one of the reasons i like the clip because it's just on and off very easy but uh, uh this is a lot easier than uh say a belt slide holster where you have to weld, weld your belt through it and weave your belt through it and then kind of find out where you're going to put it this one you can kind of adjust get the straps open Put it around your belt, snap it shut. It's easy. It's fun. Take it off the same way. So um, we sell a ton of these. This has been a very popular item as well. Like I said, a lot of people don't like Kydex. If you want a good quality, high quality leather holster, this is it. The Royal Guard uh, made of horse hide for your G43. It's also available for the 1917, all those other guns. Now, so this year at, at the SHOT Show, 2023, January, I'm talking to Bob, my uh, uh, connection for like 30 years at Galco. He's been there forever, you know. Uh, we've gotten old together, you know. So Bob and I are talking about being the old guys all of a sudden and all that. But uh, I said, hey, you know, Bob, one of the hot tickets uh, is the G43X with a light. And I said, we sell a ton of these. And I make a ton of custom holsters with the option for the light. And one of the lights that's very popular is our nightstick. And this is the nightstick here. You can see right there. It's a light and laser. Okay, it's available for the 43X and also for the 43X, which is different. They look a lot of the same, but they are different, okay, because the 43X MOS version has the rail, whereas the 43X standard does not have a rail. So the MOS and the 43X by itself are a little bit different. I mean, very similar, but you can see, of course, the uh, MOS has the MOS cutout. But again, the key factor is, is that rail kind of throws off the light. So Nightstick developed a light just for it. So the one that is for the 43X is the 11G, the TSM 11G. Boom. Again, it's Nightstick. We sell a ton of these, too. So it's nice because it's a light and laser, 150 lumens, green laser, I, it's it's awesome. I mean, it looks like it grew there. Okay, the one for the 43X MOS is the 14G, the TSM 14G. Now, like I said, they're different. So I'm talking to Bob. I'm saying, you know, we we make a lot of holsters. I bet you, I told Bob, I bet you, if I make a Royal Guard holster for the light to accommodate the light, we could, you know, some people would be interested. And he was, you know, kind of his head was spinning a little bit. And I said, I can get, you know, nightstick to send you a light and we can kind of get this thing rolling. So that was January. All right. And so he went back. And of course, you know, everybody's busy from the SHOT Show. And so around March, we started talking about it a little bit more. And he says, OK, you know, what do you want to do? And I said, OK, you know, here's kind of some ideas I have. And he says, OK, let's let me get my guys on. And he came up with this, which is kind of a pouch that will accept either one of these guys, which is the G43X with the nightstick. 11G light, or 
it'll also accept the 43X MOS with the 14G Lite. Now, this is the prototype, but it's basically done. We're really close. It's a little bit looser than I like it to be. It does retain the uh, G43X MOS, and it will retain also the uh, G43 by itself like that. Okay? It is a little looser than the standard leather holster. However, with wear, as you wear this, and you sweat on it a little bit, like a baseball glove or an old wallet, it will start to form itself around the gun and your body, <laughs> and it will capture the gun a little bit better. The key is, is to be able to draw it safely and securely and reholster safely and securely. So the technique for reholstering a Glock, in any holster really, is to put your thumb over top of the slide, keeping your finger away from the trigger, and as you push the gun in, you keep your thumb on the top of the slide and you, you, you engage it like that. That helps you prevent the slide from catching on the holster and kind of becoming disengaged, which sometimes it could do. So the technique is here, boom, boom. And this is the new holster that we're talking about today. This is really brand new. We just, just got it uh, kind of together. Uh, it's a, uh, a Royal Guard for your G43 or G43X with the nightstick light. And it looks pretty good. It's got the uh, sweat guard going up here like this, which is you know, kind of rigid. Uh, it's got full capacity to get your full grip on the gun while it's in the holster. Yet it still covers the trigger guard, which is important. Okay, you always want to have that trigger guard covered because you don't want to accidentally shoot it while it's still in the holster. <laughs> and that's happened, I'm sure. Not to me yet, but, you know, anything can happen. So you always want to be very careful with that trigger finger. And that's what, you know, the, the discipline is, is you want to keep that thing straight out, boom, boom, all the way through the draw stroke. And as you come up onto the target, that's when you can drop into the actual trigger for itself. So you really want to be uh, disciplined with that trigger finger. So, again, back to holstering. Thumb on top of the slide, trigger finger out of the way, boom, and there it goes. So, this is the new Royal Guard holster with the ability to accept a light. And I know a lot of people out there, you know, don't like Kydex, and I get it because it's, uh, well, here's the deal. On Kydex, you know, it's, it's like this. If you wear a leather holster for an amount of time, it will mold to your body and be nice and comfortable, just like I said, like an old wallet or a baseball glove, right? If you wear a Kydex holster, your body will mold to it <laughs> because it doesn't give it all. It, it really uh, doesn't. So it's, yeah, over time, a little bit more uncomfortable than, say, a, a leather holster, especially when it's inside the waistband. And a lot of people want to wear this gun inside the waistband. Now, the other thing we were playing with just as we got here, one of the guys here on the set said, hey, you know, I've got a, a, a G43X with a TLR6. Will that work? And I thought, well, maybe it will. So it's going to drop in. And yes, it does work. Now, it's a little looser because the, the uh, TLR6 doesn't have the same body style. And uh, here, let me compare these for you real quick, too, just so you can get a, a feel. A lot of people you know, say, which one should I buy? They both are laser lights. TLR6 is made by Streamlight, really big company. Everybody knows who they are. They've been around for a long time. And Nightstick, you know, relative newcomer compared to Streamlight, but that's a pretty darn good brand. We've had great success with them. So there's what they look like. And um, they both work in this holster. And like I said, with a little bit of wear and a little bit of sweat and a little bit of time on that holster, it's going to mold itself around the gun and it's going to even hold it even better. So yes, it will work with your TLR6 if you have one. Now, if you don't have a light laser, you got to consider that. That's not a bad option because it really doesn't add a lot of weight, nor does it add a lot of bulk to the gun. Uh, but uh, they're you know, so easy to install and so easy to manage. You can basically turn it on or off either with your thumb on this side or your finger on that side. So basically, it's, it's designed to be you know, manipulated uh, with uh, either way. I like to work it with my thumb so I keep my trigger finger free. That's my, my, my goal. So as I practice, I want to come up and have my thumb right on that pad right there. Now, what's really interesting, if you think about it, by having your thumb there, it really helps you present the gun properly because I'm pointing my thumb also at the target. So the gun is very pointable. And again, I'm using my index finger and my thumb to be pointers. And that's basically how you point shoot. Uh, again, if you're watching this video, 
you can take your finger and point across a room and be pretty darn accurate, like two inches. Nope, you, hey, there, because we've done that all our life. Same thing with your thumb, boom, boom, because we have such spatial awareness of our fingers and dexterity of our fingers and all that, so we know where we're at in space, at least I do. <laughs> I think you probably do too. So, you know, that's really the concept of what I'm saying is that uh, as you get up there, if you learn how to point that, thing, that thumb, that's basically a, a really good technique, whether you're on, this, on there or there. So at some point in time, you know, you really want to practice the presentation skills. And that comes down to keeping, you know, the right grip, but also that finger and that thumb going right out towards the target. So talked about a whole bunch there. Uh, bottom line is, if you're looking for a, a leather holster that will accommodate your light laser on your G43, 43X, uh, this uh, new Galco Royal Guard, I'm going to call it, because uh, I don't know if he's going to call it the Royal Guard yet or not, but it's basically the same concept. has the same straps that have a snap on it. It makes it easy on, easy off, and it will accommodate the G43 with the light, and that's the best part. So... I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in Nashville, Tennessee. This video is also on Rumble in case YouTube decides to, you know, ban us for whatever reason. And um, uh, there's a like and subscribe button somewhere here if you like what you see. If you want to see more, I've got a whole bunch of videos. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, just hit the subscribe button because we keep cranking them out because all kinds of new stuff keeps coming for your Glock. And we want to bring it to you first. So thanks for watching. And I hope to see you here in Nashville sometime. Thanks so much.